However big or small, our home should be a haven. There's a thousand jobs I need to do around the house. We just don't have the time. But it's not always easy keeping a house in order. It's such a shame we're not using the space. It is absolutely rammed full of stuff. But help is at hand. Ah! That's a fantastic piece of furniture. Look at this! A slug! That is solid. You can take back control of your home with clever, common-sense hacks. It's perfect. I love it. But don't bust the bank balance. And the best thing, you still got all of your storage. From this to this, that is just gleaming. That'll do nicely. Oh, my, <laughs> my God. We'll show you how you can make life-changing improvements in just one day. It's nice and clean for Mummy! Yay! I absolutely love it. I don't think it's ever looked that good before. <laughs> With better use and a spruce up of your space. It's wonderful. I love it. You managed to do this in a day. This is absolutely brilliant. Are you getting me all tearing off? Our team of experts is here to help. The old tool belt's coming out. Well, That's how I know you're serious. Master builder Tommy Walsh brings over 50 years of DIY experience. Solid as a rock. Maxime Dwyer runs one of the UK's top extreme cleaning companies. That's what I mean by squeaky clean. And creative carpenter Asher Edwards prides himself on being a perfectionist. I am good. Just a little bit. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. <laughs> so which household has sent a distress call today? Hello, I'm James. This is my lovely wife, Alison, and my four children, Amelia, Louis, Hugo and Jemima. And this is our crazy house, which is bursting at the seams. <laughs> Juggling a busy family life with careers in the civil service and the NHS, the Parkinson's three-bedroom semi in Pinner, West London, is beginning to suffer. We prioritise doing things at the weekend rather than um, spending lots of time doing DIY. And so now it's beginning to look tired, everything's looking a little bit tatty, and it just needs, all those little jobs need finishing off, it just needs a bit of love giving it to it again. The couple are running out of space as the kids take over. So this is our living dining room area. Um, behind us is our dining table. We don't tend to eat round there an awful lot, <laughs> mainly because it's usually covered in stuff. So it's kind of like another storage area, to be honest. Uh, children's toys are on there. If it's not children's toys, uh, washing. But it's not only the space that's a problem. This is our kitchen area. It never looks tidy. It never looks clean because there's so much stuff out on the work surfaces. So I'm too scared to pull out the slow cooker now because I dread to think what's going on in that corner. The cooker is a bit grim as well. Because the disorder has put a squeeze on space, they never get to eat as a family. The four children sit around that table and I tend to eat up at the counter because there's just no room around the table for all of us. Storage is overflowing in a tight hallway too, where Nurse Alison needs to access important equipment for her work. We have these two big cupboards that are just filled to the brim with stuff. There's not enough uh, room to put anything in those cupboards anymore, and they don't ever close. And then round here, this is my biggest bugbear. So this is, uh, should be shoe storage goes in the cube boxes. But behind there is a cupboard with all of my first aid kit in. And it means that I have to move all of the boxes out. And the boxes go over here on the stairs, which means that the shoes are then put onto the floor. And it's just a big mess for everybody. Yeah. It's the day of the big clean and fix. When we come home, we're going to have a whole new house. Yay. It would definitely be nice to come home and see a change uh, to the house and to see things in their place, maybe, rather than just wedged in and uh, yeah, crammed in as we are. With the team arriving shortly, the family head out to give them free reign. Let's go. Let's go. In the car. To prove you can make a difference to your home in just one day and on a family-friendly budget. 
is a bit cramped, this street. I think this is, this is the house here. And we can take a look inside. Lovely, thank you. After you. Lots of little coats. Oh. Clots are everywhere. As soon as you walk in. But you can see why they've got a problem. They're short of space, and then it's organising the space that you've got properly. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think there's room for improvement out here. Yes. They've got four children. Yep. That's a lot of kids for this size house. You can tell they've got kids because they're sliding down the stairs all the time. <laughs> yes, slide on the banisters, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's go into the kitchen and see what we've got to do in there. Look at this. Right. This well, is a nursery. It's a bit congested, isn't it? Now, they've got lots of cupboards in this kitchen, but there's loads of stuff out. So why ain't it put away? We're going to have to make space, aren't we? Yeah. I think it's a bit of work for you, MX, to be quite Definitely. honest. Definitely. Can't wait All to right. get stuck in. Yeah, so let's have a look in the living room. Mm -hmm. Wow. See what we've got to do here. What on earth? Lots of toys. There's just so much stuff. Too much stuff. And that has to be a first for me. A car tyre in the living room by the French doors. That is wild. Look, you've got the TV sitting right above, I don't know what, Euston Station. A <laughs> <laughs> whole railway network underneath it. <laughs> this really needs organising. I'm going to clean the table and the chairs. Clean the glass. Yeah, they sort of need for us to get it sort of tidy and right for them and then they can learn from what we do. We give them a head start. Need... With the three problem areas identified, the team have their missions for the day. The mucky kitchen is screaming out for a Maxine deep clean. While the kids' arts and crafts dining table needs a rethink from Asha. The messy hallway wants a Tommy transformation to make it fit for purpose. And the muddled lounge diner come playroom needs organising so they can finally eat together as a family. And all areas need a lick of paint and their clutter setting to one side for the family to go through later. Let's go and get the rest of the tools in. OK. All right, let's do this. And we'll get started on this. All this in one day and on a minimal budget. They better get cracking. The old tool belt's coming out. Well... That's how I know you're serious. Yeah, when you're going to get in... Work mode, and you've got a lot to do in a short time. You've got to get the old bib and braces out. Old reliable. <laughs> Imagine calling me old reliable. Because <laughs> I can really trust nice, in you. Huh? Trust in you and your belt. Oh, right. Here we go. With her experience, Maxine's not daunted by the scale of any task. It's all about having a plan of action and a system. There's so much stuff here. Tons of stuff, but I need to work my way to the kitchen sink first, because that's first and foremost. I've got to have a clean kitchen sink to be able to wash anything that needs washing. This needs washing, for example, but there's too much clutter there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I start at the very beginning, which is the sink area. Gloves on. I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to put them way over here. And I don't think there's any space for any of this. That's why they're here. Since the 1960s, the average size of a British kitchen has shrunk by two square metres. Organising cupboard space has never been more important. Let me have a look in the bottom cupboard. La, 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 la. Ooh. Lots of stuff in here. Is there a dishwasher? Dishwasher! Wow! Oh, it's full. Look at this. This is well used and it will be with four children and one mummy and one daddy. From time to time, everyone's dishwasher needs a refresh. Bicarbonate of soda is a natural deodoriser. So add two tablespoons to an empty load and your dishes will be whiff free. First thing I'm doing is cleaning the draining board off and getting the majority of the dirt off. Let me squeeze this out. Let me wring it out. There you go. Look. See the rag? Have the rag in some sort of order as well. You don't just do this and take it out and go like this. That don't make no sense. Have it in some sort of order. It's so much nicer, to be honest. Look. 
Fold it, fold it, fold it. There you go. How was that? Save the confusion. Because, guess what? You have one side that will be dirty and one side which will be clean. You're cleaning the dirt off with this side, just like this. And then, flick it. Dirt is one thing, lime scale more of a challenge. And, unfortunately, the cloth is not getting rid of and budging the stuff around the edges. It is proving quite difficult, to be honest. Lime scale builds up when hard water evaporates, leaving a crusty mineral residue behind. But Maxine's got a cost-effective solution to tackle it. I've got something that will work. Vinegar. Baking soda. Uh, everyone's got it in their cupboards, or if you haven't, they cost, don't cost lots at all. So what I'm going to do is one spoonful of baking powder and two part white vinegar. Has to be white vinegar because if it's malt vinegar, you smell of fish and chips. You don't want to smell of fish and chips. Ooh. Here we go. Vinegar is acidic, and when it's mixed with baking powder, it produces a fizzing reaction that can break down lime scale. Absolutely wonderful. Look at this. Once it's mixed, you can apply the paste to the lime scale in the sink and around the taps. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for about five minutes and then come back to it. While Maxine does battle in the kitchen, Tommy's hard at work at the bottom of the stairs. Well, when I first arrived here today, I was a bit shocked by how much stuff was on the staircase. And I thought, that's dangerous, you know, for the parents and the children. So I thought, let's come up with a practical solution to at least this problem, first of all. And what I'm going to do is these are standard off-the-shelf storage racks. And I'm going to fix two of these into position on here. And that will be then somewhere for their shoes to be stored. And then above here, we'll have a hook for their school bag and also for their coat. So when they come home from school, pack their shoes away, hang their coat up and hang their bag up, and it's all on this wall, out of the way, and it's safe, because then all the stuff that's stored on the stairs can come off the stairs and be stored safely here. The wall-mounted storage racks have proved a quick and simple solution. Level line. Can the same be said of Maxine's homemade paste on the lime scale? Let's see if it's worked. I'm going to get a toothbrush to go into the corners and edges of the tap. And I'm going to scrub away and see if it's worked. It shifted the gunk that was there. The brushing action is quite good, to be honest. So, let's have a look now. So, where we've got the proper lime scale build-up around the taps, we need a little bit of extra help. So, in comes mascara. But carefully use it, because this could scratch the surface of the stainless steel. It's a good old build-up, but I'm barely touching it, and it comes off. It's amazing. What we have is baking powder, white vinegar, and my favourite tool. There you go. Ball scourer. And it comes up a treat. That's it. That's all you need. Now to tackle the other side of the kitchen. Cramped kitchen table doubling as a dining space and craft area. Q Asher, who's creating a piece of carpentry out of MDF to replace the table, a more budget friendly option than real wood. I am building a unit for the kitchen area, something where the kids can do their arts and crafts during the day, and then when they're finished, they can pack it away opening back up space in the kitchen, giving free reign for the parents to work, making their meals. This is the, going to be the door. When folded up, it's going to go up against the wall. And when dropped down, it will create this space here for the kids to, to work on. And to the side of it, there's going to be open storage. So again, more the more storage, the better. It's better to have enough storage than not enough. If you lack carpentry confidence, you can get someone local in. But Asha has some pointers for those who fancy giving it a go. Quick tip. So I'm cutting up all my pieces to make this drop-down unit. And to make sure you've cut a nice square panel, 
you measure from one corner of the panel. Here I've got 1003. And you check it against opposite corners. And here I've got 1003. So that lets me know this is perfectly square. And I'm gonna have no worries about having any wonky or funky angles. So I'm gonna carry on cutting up all my other pieces and then screw, glue together and get it on the wall. The morning has almost gone and everyone is conscious of time. Oh, look at this! Wow! Oh, that went astray ages ago, you can tell. I'm going to brush this right up into the corner. I bet someone's been looking for them for ages. With 50 years of experience, Tommy knows the key to staying on schedule is to tidy as he goes. What do you want, Tommy? Brush and paint. Just for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a designer one, is it? <laughs> oh, my gosh, that is tiny. Little dust for them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> At least it can fit in your tool bag. Oh, yeah, look at your feet there, look. <laughs> there you go. Be off with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's already putting it to good use, catching the dust at the same time as he drills. Maxine has efficiencies in mind, too. I am going to come with my ball scourer. Look at this. This is magic. It's absolutely brilliant. And all you need to do is put a bit of washing up liquid on it and just go like this and work your way in. There you go. When you work in a circular motion, you're not going to miss anything because you can see exactly where you're scrubbing. Overlap as well. You're certainly not going to miss anything. This is an old laminate worktop which can cope with a steel scourer. But if your worktops are made of granite, marble or wood, you need a different approach. Working wonders. Instead, use a soft, damp cloth with some washing up liquid. You get to work your biceps and your triceps. How wonderful is that? There you go. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> In the garden, Ash has cut out all the MDF he needs to make the wall-mounted fold-down table. His build to solve the Parkinson's cramped family kitchen. Now I've got all my pieces cut to size, what I'm about to do is start gluing and pinning all my parts together. Once set, PVA wood glue can be even harder than the wood it's sticking together. And it's important that when you are gluing up pieces, you spread the glue equally across the whole surface. It's a little bit messy work. You can either use a stick, but I just get down and dirty, use my finger, because I'm old school. It's actually the glue that does the work. Pins just hold it in place whilst the glue sets. Don't worry about any drops or drips that can all wipe up with a wet rag. Got to be generous, so if you're a little bit short, top it up spread the glue across the whole surface. It's a water-based glue, so you don't need no spirits or chemicals to get any extras off. And pin it in. Water-based glues bond when the water evaporates, so on a hot day like this, it shouldn't take too long. Tommy's making good progress with the shoe storage fix for the overrun staircase. And he's got a fun, personalised trick to encourage the kids to put away the rest of their belongings too. Pictures in there. Hooks, school bag and coat and shoes. All the four kids on this wall. That ain't bad. <laughs> Not bad at all, and he's using the picture frames as a guide to place the hook plate. <gasps> the microwave definitely has not been moved. It's the end of a busy morning, and the team have earned a cup of tea and a five-minute break. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. So, Asher, how are we doing? We're good. And you, Maxine? Done the kitchen sink. Down corners and edges. Oh, good for you. Yeah. How about you? Um, well, I've started setting it out on the staircase mm -hmm. and 
getting it ready in prep work for painting it. The finish won't take that long, it's just getting it all laid out. Ooh. But we're getting there and it'll be a nice little kiddie space. Oh, lovely. And it should stop any arguments about kids not hanging up their coats, not putting their shoes away. Wow. The hard work's in the prep, painting it's the easy part. Mm, that's right. Bob's your uncle. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. I've never had an Uncle Bob, actually. <laughs> There's still lots to do in the kitchen before Maxine can start in the cluttered lounge diner. The walls need a lick of paint, so Maxine's wiping away any grease and stains which could affect the new paint's finish. You know what? You're washing down kitchens and bathrooms quite frequently, so it's best to have the tough paint, to be honest. Uh, if you have the tough paint, you can use the rough scourers and the paint will not come off. You can use a microfiber and the paint will not come off. I used a scourer, the ball scourer, and the paint did not come off. So it's, it's, it's worthwhile paying a little bit more money for a little bit better paint. Tough kitchen and bathroom paints can also handle excess moisture and temperatures. If you're unsure which product or cloth to use, do a spot test on a discreet patch of wall. Ooh, here we go, look. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Tommy's also got paint on his mind. Heavily scuffed, the stairwell paintwork needs refreshing. Whether it's gloss on the skirting or emulsion on the walls, there's a knack to getting it right. When you apply the paint, it doesn't matter which way, whether you do it horizontally or vertically. But what does matter is once you've got it on the wall and you do the finishing long vertical strokes like that, that will give you a better finish when it dries. So you've got to be careful. You've got to stop somewhere or you'll end up trying to paint the whole house. Can't be done in a day. But when you do stop, Tommy has some good advice. This is always a useful thing to do when you actually finish your painting and you've still got paint left in the tin that you want to keep. Make sure the lid's on properly and then turn it over upside down, then turn it back. That paint seals the tin, no air gets in and no skin goes on the paint the next time you want to open it and use it. Outside, Asher's fold-down craft table is beginning to take shape ready to buy back space taken by the existing kitchen table. So this is going to sit beautifully inside my frame. And once it's all assembled, and it will operate something like this. When the family has finished with the table, they simply fold it back into the wall unit, giving Alison the spacious kitchen she craves. My next step is to paint this panel here with chalkboard paint. This turns almost any surface into a blackboard you can write or draw on. Great idea, but now he's got to wait for the chalkboard to dry. Time is against him. I've still got the shelves and hinges to do and paint the carcass. It's going to be a struggle to get it all done in time. But Maxine is well on her way. Look at this very dirty window all along here. So I'm going to bring out some very good cleaning stuff. This is grime. And what I do is I, I just use a cream cleaner for the bottom, not for the whole window because it's a nightmare to wash off. So just a little bit there. And it don't have to soak it. There we go. It's working lovely. Very nice. Look at that. Brilliant. If you don't use a brush, you might not get in between the corners. And then I do that before I wash the whole window. Maxine has another homemade fix to leave your windows streak free. One part water, one part vinegar. The acid in the vinegar breaks down the streaks as the water evaporates. The window has to be open, otherwise you'll wet up your whole sideboard. And then it will dry streak free. It looks brand new. There you go, nice and clean. Tommy's after a clean finish too. Now this is decorator's cork. What that means is when you finish a wall and a skirting together, there's quite often a gap. But when you squeeze some of this over, then get your finger with a sponge and a cup of water and run it down, it smooths it all out and hides all your sins. 
Before you apply decorator's cork, you should make sure the area is clean and dry or it could come unstuck later. And some cork used in bathrooms and around windows has silicon in it to repel water and can't be painted over. Just remember, decorator's cork. Squeeze it in, wipe it through, job done. With all the prep work done, Tommy can now begin to attach the key parts of his stairwell storage solution. A useful thing here to do when you're fixing these to, to a wall or to something is to put the screws a third of the way through the back so that when you actually put them on the wall, you can locate the, uh, the plugs with the actual screw and you can look down and see to make sure you're in the right place. That's it. Solid as a rock, just how you want it. Above the shoe rack, the kids will each have a hook for their coats and a photo to personalise each hook. All right, that's that corner finished. And the good thing about this, the bonus, if you like, it should stop all arguments about where clothes and shoes or whatever are, because these are clearly identified above the position where their clothes and shoes should be. <laughs> the end of all arguments. If only. Now the kitchen walls are dry, Maxine's final job before moving on to the lounge diner is to give the kitchen a fresh lick of paint. Lovely. I love doing this. The colour mustard will be a great backdrop to highlight Asher's fold-down table. How's it going, Ash? Wonderful. What's this actually going to be? This is the carcass for the drop-down table. I'm going to have a unit on one side, folds down for the table for the kids to work on, and then the op opposite side, lots of shelves in the, in the inside, so you can store extra goodies inside. So has this got to be painted? Of course it has. And yeah. who's got to do that? You. <laughs> Hey, you're the man with the brush, you've got the techers. It's time for the Parkinson's Lounge to get some much needed attention. Maxine's on cleaning and decluttering duty. Asha! Can I nick you for a minute, please? What's up? Talk Can to I me. I'm removing this. You're so big and strong. Can you help me move this to the side, please? I got you. Yeah. Oh, you don't need my hand, do you? Thank you. Oh, you. What look at all this dust! Fine. Uh, dust. Dust galore. Oh, my days. Do you know what? Let me show you something. This dust, compared to the kitchen, in the kitchen, dust does not budge. And let me tell you why, because grease sits mm. on it. And look at the fluff coming off it. Can you imagine? There you go. That hasn't been cleaned in ages. It's true. But then, you know what? I guarantee you, if you pull out your bookcase, it'll be exactly the same. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you so much right. for your help, big No man. problem. With the storage unit moved, there's now space for Tommy to paint over the tired lounge walls. He's picked out a blue from the wallpaper to help tie the room together. Try to remember not to overload the roller, but then you've got to put enough paint on it to get it on the wall. And a few smooth, Gentle actions in the same way. Don't keep going over it or else you could end up pulling it off the wall or lumps of finished plaster. Painting a room a new colour can be one of the simplest ways of sprucing up your space. Ideally, you would do one coat today and another coat tomorrow. We haven't got the time, but we've also got nice, warm, sunny weather. So we'll get both coats on in one day. Decluttering a space gives you a chance to display more decorative objects in all their glory. Dad James's crystal decanters need Maxine's help to truly shine. Now, I'm going to be gentle with it. I'm going to put it in here. Just give it a good old wash. There you go, that's all you need. There you are. There you go. Soapy water and look, as good as new. To bring back the sparkle on the inside is a bigger job. A lot of these, internally, they have a build-up of calcium. When the liquid in the decanters evaporates, it can cause alcohol stains and calcium deposits. 
I wouldn't put this in the dishwasher because it's big and clumpy anyway. It's crystal. You've just got to be gentle with it and put hot water in it. If this doesn't work, we can try boiling hot water and a bit of vinegar. White vinegar is good for freeing up calcium deposits. The vinegar's acid should break down any residue. So you get a microfiber, pour the vinegar in and just work it to get rid of the calcium and it works wonders. The crystal's clear, but the tray it sat on needs Maxine's touch too. Okay, I've got this really mucky silver tray. It is lovely, but it's mucky. And we need to use a neutral product on it, which is probably washing up liquid. And then just fire away. Silver, like this decanter tray, is a soft metal, easily damaged by abrasive or ammonia-based products. Just circular motion and just work it in. Can you see the washing up liquid is getting rid of the grime and it's showing the natural silver. I can't wait to put this back in the lounge. Ah. There are things you can bring back to life and others you can give a new life with some clever upcycling. Now what I thought I'd do, we had this left over from the staircase boxes for the shoes and I thought, well, let's not waste it, but let's adapt it to make it into a seat. You can sit on here, take your shoes off and then tuck them in underneath here. Just because it's been made for one particular job, if it doesn't suit you to, to have it like that, then adapt it. Be creative and I'm sure you'll end up with something even nicer. Maxine still needs to find a storage solution to help with the Parkinson's dining table dilemma so they can eat together as a family. So the main problem of our dining room area is that it's usually filled with toys. Um, it's often used as a little secret den underneath and yeah, we just don't use it as a family. We try to keep that area sort of more like an adult space, but it doesn't work like that. The children's toys get everywhere. Tommy? Yeah? Can you lend us a hand, please? What's the matter, my love? What are we going to do with this area? We've got no space. This is heaving. This box is literally heaving. Um, and I've got too much stuff. Too much stuff to... I'll tell you what, what about where I'm working, those two big white units? They uh, might fit on here and then they'd fill in this space to be more yeah. storage. Yeah, brilliant. That would be perfect. You reckon? Yes, I All reckon. Right, I'll, bring, I'll bring one in and see what it's like. Oh. <laughs> and there's a cupboard under the stairs. I found some more storage, Maxine. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that! Ready made. Yes, that's amazing! That's... Is there two or just one? Two. Two for the price of one. Let me move this out of the way, Tommy. Oh, how's that? Oh, wow. That is absolutely magnificent. We've got space now. Need any more help? Give us a shout. All right, thank you, Tommy. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Wow! Life changer. Oh! How's it going, guys? Asha? We're good. Just uh, a race against the paint drying time. We've got to get a shift on. Well, we ain't got much time left. I can only go as fast as the paint can dry. I've heard that one before. <laughs> With the day almost over. Ah, look at this. Nice and clean. It's the final push. The folding table is starting to take shape. How's it going, Asha? Yeah, yeah, we're good. I'll go past it and then you go reverse it. As if by magic. Solid. Tommy's upcycled stool has also come together. Oh, well, I've just made this lovely little seat out of the excess timber out there that was going to be thrown away. That's amazing. Can I try it? Of course you can try it. Oh, go on. You're brilliant, thanks. Yeah, I'll take over the cleaning of the staircase, if you like. I didn't have to ask twice, did I? Carry on. Tell me when you're finished. Just time for some last-minute adjustments. Ooh, lovely. And a few finishing touches. Very nice. And they're done. 
So with a limited budget and just one day, what have the team managed to pull off? The Parkinson's wanted to solve the cramped kitchen. So it worked for both adults and kids. And give it a deep clean. They needed a storage solution for the messy hallway. And a decluttered lounge dining room so they could have family meals together. Asha, what it's an, all done. What an action packed day. Last thing. Right. We'll see you again. See you next time. After a long day, Maxine and Asha depart leaving Tommy behind to greet the family. We hope you enjoy your new space from the Clean It Fix It team. Hi, Hi. Alison and James. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to your home. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, Thank you. wow it's, uh, it's so clear. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I haven't stood in this corner for many no. a year. <laughs> the hallway was a mess of coats and shoes and a cube unit stopped Alison from reaching her nursing equipment, but not any longer. Tommy's shoe racks and coat and bag hooks for the kids have streamlined the stairs. And where there was chaos, now there is calm. What we've provided is an everyday simple story solution mm -hmm. for the four children. For, for their everyday use, like bags, coats and shoes. And they all fit nicely in there, the shoes in the rack, and you can see there's a double hook yeah, for yeah. their coat and for their bag. And they can't argue about it because there's a photograph their photos. Uh, for each section of the four sections to tell them who's got the right to put their stuff in. Yep, perfect. And they'll find their shoes in the morning. That's it. No problem. Love it. Definitely neat and tidy, and it's, everything's accessible. And everything so, has a place. And everything has a place. And, of course, there's this little seat area here. Mm -hmm. We created that so that when you come home from work, you just come in, plop yourself down on there, take yep. your shoes off, put them in the shoe storage, and then you get up and there it's all done out of the way and you can walk <laughs> around the house. Definitely, that would be really nice. Yeah. Super. Well, they love the hallway. Will they feel the same about the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Gosh, right. Wow. Oh, I love the colour. Look at the colour in the wall. Yeah, wow. Running out of space, the kitchen was cluttered and getting grubbier by the day. A cramped table meant family dinners were divided and the kids' arts and crafts took over. But Maxine's deep clean means this kitchen is now spotless, while Asher's foldaway table is both multifunctional and space-saving. I absolutely love it. I it's a really, bit different, really isn't it? I love it. I really do. Nice. It's so different. I would like like an open plan kind of kitchen where the children can be and I can be, and we're there. <laughs> for like we? I'd be like, I'm actually oh. going to cry. <laughs> Maxine has worked really hard on this today, and she's done a fantastic job. Wow, it just looks amazing. And what do they think about Asher's creation? I know you had your you had a small dark kitchen dining table here. Mm -hmm. It was problematic for you to use it as a family yeah. eating place. Yeah. So Asher worked really hard on this and he's designed something clever for you. This is what you call a drop down unit. Now how it works, this is your family planning board, so it's a chalkboard and you can put up all your notes and messages on here. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to put it all over the front of the freezer, free yeah. freezer now. And this, when you want to with the kids. They want to do their arts and crafts. Absolutely and love it. That blackboard then becomes the lead. Yeah, yeah. And this then becomes the arts and crafts table for right. the kids. Fabulous. And you've got all shelves for storage for the stuff, all down yeah. there and yeah. here. And also, Asha came up with this idea. This is on a roller. You just pull it off, and then they've got the paper that they want to do their arts and crafts. Right. Yeah. When you've had enough of it, yeah. all you have to do, cut off the waste, or we'll push it back in onto the roller, lift it back into place. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Love it. Everything's got a place. Yeah, the yeah. children can keep it tidy, we can keep it tidy. Yeah. 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 Lovely. Yeah. It's so clean <laughs> and shiny. And it looks new, actually, doesn't yeah, it? <laughs> My it's slow fresh. cooker looks new. Yeah. It looks really pretty. Really, really nice. Well, now I think we should look 
at the third part of the transformation. This morning, the lounge dining room was overrun with kids' toys. The dining table was a dumping ground and couldn't be used for family dinners. But now, Maxine's reorganisation has given this freshly painted room bags of space and repositioning the hallway unit has doubled their storage. Wow. The blue is really nice. It works really well with the wallpaper. I love that. The storage units, I wouldn't have thought to put it like that because I would have thought it looked too cluttered in here. Yeah. But it kind of works, doesn't it? The double yeah. level storage. And what about the elephant in the room? The actual dining table yeah. and chairs that you've never been able to no. use. Six of us all together at a table. Yeah. It'd be yeah, nice to it. sit down together, eat dinner together. Yeah, just do it. Not yeah. by yourself anymore. No. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're a little bit able to share around the table, which yeah. is great. Yeah. yeah. That's what family life's all about. Yeah, right. definitely. Maxine's worked really hard on this today. Bless her. <laughs> and what she did as well, she thought she'd give your drinks area over there. I think she's cleaned up all your decanters. Too. That's all been done. Yeah, she's done yeah, all those yeah. decanters and everything. <laughs> got everything working right. It feels like... You've got so much space. It does. It just feels so much bigger. Yeah. yeah. And you always wanted this as a coffee table, yeah, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. And we never had it out. And now you've got a Lego table. <laughs> <laughs> and you like the transformation? I do. I really like it. It works. Mm. Yeah, it just works so well. We've got to find areas for eating. We've got to find areas for doing craft. We've got to find areas for shoes. And as you said, to find area for Lego. Yeah. So, <laughs> as a brief goes, I think you've, you, you've answered everything that we could ever want. Well, it was a real pleasure Thank to you. actually do this. Hopefully, it will make it a bit easier for you to manage now. Yeah. So that you can possibly work on the way we've done it and, yeah. and maintain yeah. that for the future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's like coming to a new house. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Enjoy Thank your home you. and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I didn't expect to be working this late at night, but the work had to be done, and we finished it. So, they're happy, I'm happy. All I need now is to lie down and have a sleep. Alison and James love their spruced-up new home and have been given a leg up to a cleaner and tidier life. It's going to go yeah. fast. But four kids have to give their seal of approval too. <laughs> what do you think? Asha's fold-down craft table seems to be a big draw. I love it. Oh, it's amazing. I like the chalkboard. That's a cool touch. Yeah. Mind my draw a picture? Oh, what have you written, Amelia? I like the kitchen. I like the kitchen. That's so cute. <laughs> Will the spacious new lounge dining room be a hit too? <laughs> we got so much more space. They do. What do you think of the colour? I like it, I like So it. what do you think? Can we all eat up at the table now? Yes, but we can also eat in the other one. Oh. We, we've got a choice, haven't we? Yeah. It's yeah. a big thumbs up all round. Oh. <laughs>